Hi, welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 3. This video presentation is going to be on Proposition 7 of Book 3, which is a rather complicated proposition in that it has a lot of different parts. So to explain what the proposition is stating, we have a circle where E is the center of the circle and F is any point within the circle, drawing a line from F to E and extend it so it touches the circumference of the circle, and we have our line AD. Now the first part of this proposition states that the side, the part of the line that goes through the center of the circle, in other words FA, will be larger than FD. Next, if we have lines from F going to the circumference of the circle, the lines that are closer to the center of the circle will be larger. In other words, BF is closer to the center than CF, so BF is larger than CF, and CF is larger than CG. CF is larger than GF. So carrying on, the second part of this proposition states that if we have a line, FG, there is one and only one other line, FH, that is equal in length to FG, and it will be opposite this line of FD. So that's what this proposition is stating. Now we carry on to the proof. So the first part of this proof will be the inequalities. So if you remember from Proposition 20 of Book 1, the sum of two sides of a triangle is always greater than the third. Now, BE is equal to AE. So BE plus EF is greater than BF, or AE plus EF is larger than BF. So AE plus EF is equal to AF, and we have that AF is larger than BF. Carrying on, let's look at these two triangles, the green one and the pink one. From Proposition 24 of Book 1, if you remember, if you have two triangles where the two sides are equal, and in this case they are, since CE and BE are radii of the same circle, EF is common to both triangles, the base will be larger in the triangle that has the larger angle. And since this pink triangle has the larger angle, BF will be larger than CF. Using the same arguments, again, the green triangle has a larger angle than the purple. They have two sides that are equal, these two being the radius, these two being common, gives us that CF is larger than GF. And finally, if we look at our triangle, the purple triangle, EG is equal to ED. Now EF plus FG is larger than EG, but EG is equal to this. So FE plus CG is also equal to, or greater than equal to, EF plus FD. So we have FE plus FG is greater than FE plus FD. Cross this out, and we end up that FG is greater than FD. Putting that all together, we have that FA is greater than FB, is greater than FC, greater than FG, which is greater than FD. So that is the first part of the proposition which has been proven. Carrying on, if we have a line FG, let's construct another line such that the angle between ED and EG is the same on this side, Find the point and connect the dots. So we have this angle here is equal to this angle here. We have EG is the radii of a circle and EH is also the radii of the same circle. So we have side, angle, side, side, angle, side equal. According to Proposition 4, these triangles are identical or equivalent, excuse me, and if they are equivalent then FG is equal to FH. So we have found one line 
FH that is equal to FG. Now we have to demonstrate that there is no other line that can also be equal to FG. So let's assume that we have a line FK, which is equal to FG. Now since FH is equal to FG, which is equal to FK, we have that FK is also equal to FH. However, we've just demonstrated within this proposition that FK has to be larger than FH since it's closer to the center of the circle. And thus we have our contradiction. And having our contradiction, it means that there is no line FK that can be equal in length to FG. And thus we have demonstrated that there can be one and only one other line that is equal to FG coming from F and that would be FH. That's it for this proposition. And that concludes this video presentation. To see the next presentation, just click the next button.